Korea grew in the 2% range last year, failing to reach the government's coveted growth range of 3%. The economy showed signs of recovery in the third quarter on the back of government measures, but the pickup was short-lived. Let's turn to our Hwang Jie standing by at the country's central bank. Jie, can you give us the latest? Weighed down by slowing global and domestic demand, the Korean economy grew 2.6 percent last year. This marks the slowest pace of expansion in three years and comes as the economy was hit hard by the MERS outbreak, as well as sluggish exports, mainly caused by the slowdown in China. The contribution of exports to growth dropped for the sixth straight quarter in the last quarter of 2015. Domestic demand was responsible for two percentage points of growth in the third quarter, but that dropped to 0.8 percentage points in the fourth quarter. Despite the pickup that the economy showed in the third quarter last year thanks to a number of government-led sales events to jumpstart spending, the growth rate more than halved in the last three months. The Bank of Korea attributes the slowdown to a drastic drop in investment in the construction sector, prompted by weakening home transactions. But some experts say there is a silver lining ahead on the export front. Korea is expecting the free trade deal with China and entry into emerging markets like India and Vietnam with high potential purchasing power to improve exports. Still feeble overall global demand and oil prices which are hitting fresh lows remain some of the major concerns for this year. And with a majority of foreign and local institutions expecting Korea to expand in the 2 percent range again in 2016, Finance Minister Yu Hiro on Tuesday once again urged ministries to do their best in front-loading their budget spending in the first three months. Markets are also seeing mounting expectations for more monetary easing by Korea's central bank to prop up weak recovery momentum that will further drive down the key interest rate that already stands at a record low of 1.5 percent. Daniel? Well, half full, half empty, depending on which expert's opinion we are listening to. Thank you for that report. That was our economics correspondent, Hwang Ji-hae.